Today we're gonna to look at Predator's blood and how you can replicate the bleeding of green fluorescent stuff at home. What the hell are you? We're gonna be using a glow stick. We're gonna cut it open and use the two chemicals that are inside. Usually, you have a transparent chemical that's a peroxide to activate the other chemical. The other chemical is a mixture of dyes, fluorophores, and stuff like that. Let's check it out. Now we have the two components of the light stick. In here we have the peroxide, and in this glass container, it's very fragile, you'll have the dye. Now we need to get the dye out. You could break the top, but usually it's a bit tricky. You get a lot of pieces of glass and stuff. One way to do it safely is to rinse, rinse a plastic container, put it back inside, and crack it inside. So on one side we got the dye. We're gonna put that dye using a simple Q-tip on our figurine. And then the peroxide, we're gonna put it on the knife. Whenever the knife touches the dye that's on the figurine, they're gonna to mix together and do the chemical reaction that gives us the glow stick effect. But it's gonna look just like if the predator is bleeding. All right, now let's try it on real flesh. We're gonna put one of the chemicals on my arm and the other chemical on the knife. Whenever they touch, we should get the bleeding effect. As you know, if it bleeds, we could kill it. But make sure you work safely when you do these experiments.